Hello YouTubers and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to another Summer 2014 Lego Star Wars review. Okay, so today we have set 75053 and this is The Ghost. This is from Star War Rebels. So I've already done an unboxing of this set. Um, I will put the link down to that in the description down below. So if you're interested in seeing the box, the box art, the instructions uh, and the bags that come in this set, then please click on that link below and go and take a look at that video. Okay, so as you can see from this shot, this set comes with four minifigures. They are all new minifigures or new variants of former minifigures. And as you can see, the Ghost itself is quite a large set. So let's start off by taking a closer look at those minifigures. Okay, so I apologise in advance for my pronunciation of um, some of these minifigures. I'm not that familiar with Star Wars Rebels, so my apologies. Okay, so first up we have Zeb Aurelius. As you can see, he comes with this very large weapon. I'll just take that off so we can take a closer look. Okay, so this is actually two blasters. Um, so I'll just separate one there. So there we can see one blaster there. And another blaster on the end. And in the middle there we have this black... Um, lightsaber hilt um, in the middle holding them both together so that's um, that's his weapon okay so close look at the minifigure now and you can see some awesome colors and printing on this and that um, head molding is particularly um, good so let's just take a 360 view see that printing continuing around to the rear of the torso and again, that moulding on that headpiece. Okay, and a bit of a closer look at that head. Again, you can see some excellent use of colours and printing. Okay, so that is Zeb. Okay, next up we have her uh, Sindula. Okay, so you can see the print in there to the front of that torso continuing down into the leg, legs. She has the separate headpiece. We'll take a closer look at that in a second. So let's start with our 360 view. As you can see, she comes with the blaster pistol. Um, you can see the printing carrying down to the rear um, of this headpiece here. And there are some goggles on top. Like I said, we'll have a closer look at that in a second. Okay, back around to the front, now we'll have a look with the headpiece removed. Okay, and she does come with a dual sided face. And there is the second version of the face. Back around looking at the rear now, so you can see a little bit more of that um, printing detail to the rear. Very minor, but there is some there. Okay, and a better look at that headpiece now. Now that is off. Now we can see the goggles on top. And obviously just looking around and there we can see how that fixes to the head which is just simply a case of oh, snapping into position like so okay next up we have Kanan Jarus okay as can be seen he comes with two weapons the lightsaber and um, with the light blue um, obviously rod there and the silver chrome hilt and he comes with a blaster so let's take those um, or remove those so we can take a close look at him and his printing okay as you can see there's some really good printing to the front of the torso continuing down into the legs and he has the two um, different colored arms there um, obviously some pretty cool face printing and a good hair piece as well but let's take a 360 view now You can see that printing continuing to the rear of the torso. 
and he does come with a dual sided face so let's take a look at the other version of that now there we go okay final minifigure we have our newly designed storm trooper as you can see he comes with the blaster rifle so let's remove that now okay so we can see that print into the helmet down into the front of the torso and continuing down into the front of the leg so let's take off 360 view and now printing again to the rear of the torso okay now with that helmet removed so the standard uh, clone trooper or in this case stormtrooper face as you can see it is a single sided face okay I know a lot of you are going to be interested in this figure so let's just take a closer look on some of that printing detail to the front of the torso face down into the legs let me spin around and look at the rear torso okay And finally, a closer look at the helmet. Again, some cool printing. Really menacing looking. There we go, so that is the Stormtrooper, so let's have a look at the Ghost itself. Okay, so here is the Ghost, and it is it's an odd looking spacecraft, some may say it's ugly, and indeed some people have commented on my Instagram feed, um, saying that it does look ugly, not saying I disagree, um, but it is um, quite a large set, and it does have quite a few features which I've now got to try to remember. Um, as I take you around the set, so let's start off by taking a 360 view. Okay, so we're going to try and show you some of the features on this set now, and we will start from the front. Okay, so first up, down at the front of the Ghost, we have these um, guns here, which can move from side to side, and also up and down, like so. Okay, moving up. We have our first cockpit area here. This is printed, um, so this can open up by pulling it down like so. Um, you can see in there where the minifigure will sit. And you can see that's obviously quite tight to get a minifigure in there, so it does have a neat little function, which is quite simply, it's clipped in there. So if we just uh, grab hold of it like so and pull, and you can see those slides there so the whole thing will slide out like so um, and we can sit our minifigure there which we will do so in a second <coughs> you can see there the control panel so that is a um, sticker which we can see there okay so then all we do is take our minifigure Obviously you can't fit in there with his weapons, so we remove the weapons and I will show you where they're stored when we get round to that part of the spacecraft. Um, take him and sit him in. Okay, like so. Um, and then just simply, you can see there those two areas there for these slides. Line those up. Um, we can see that red clip there actually, there is a white clip you might be able to pick up there at the end, that's what that clips onto, and you'll hear it click, so listen out for the click, 
you go. So there you can now see um, Canaan now set inside there in the lower cockpit area. Okay, next up, if we continue on up to the top, we have our second cockpit area. So that one goes forward like so. So on this one, that is a sticker. As we can see there, so that is a sticker that you apply. Um, there we can see the seating area um, for this minifigure. And if I spin that around there, you can now see the top of the head of the other minifigure sat down, um, obviously, on the lower area. So just take our other minifigure and sit him in that seat. So there we can see now she's now sat into that position in the cockpit like so so again just simply close this back up and now she is also in the cockpit area okay continuing up behind the cockpit this area here um easiest to get into it by lifting this one up so this is a storage area so we can lift that up like so um, and then you can see down in there there is an area there with some clips so that's one of the first places that we can um, store some of the weapons um, if we want to so I will put um, her uh, blast pistol in there okay there so you should be able to see there now clipped into the side is that blaster pistol just there okay so we can just simply pull this forward and close like so so Close that down and continuing up across the top to this area next. So this will swivel all the way around. As you can see there, we've got some more cannons up here so they can just go up and down um, on this particular one. Obviously the side to side movement is like so. Um, so another cool feature, this does lift out in its entirety. So just pull it out like that. And first of all, I will just show you there that's the area where that sits in okay let's put that back there so now we're now looking at this particular pod so we can see here there is a seat in there so we fit one of our minifigures in there okay so all we do is we detach this piece here like so we take our minifigure Get him in the seating position and sit him down on the seat like so. Then take that piece and clip that back into position so you can now see um, he is now in there. You can see his head through the top of that. Then just simply take that and pop it back into the top of the ghost like so so now we can see he's actually in there um, in position so obviously in that little gun pod there controlling it okay continuing over the top towards the rear we have this piece here that lifts up that is for a function which i will explain at the end of this video um, if we carry on round there so that can come down let's just leave that a bit more light in there Okay, so you can see there are some doors here and they do open up like so. And we'll just lift that and you can see straight through there then. Um, but these kind of suit a purpose, but again, I will explain um, what they're supposed to be for because there is something that can sit in this area, which is pretty awesome, but I will explain that um, in a second. So that goes down. Looking at the rear detail in here, obviously the rear engines um, do look particularly cool and particularly awesome. So some good detailing there. Okay, so just continuing around to the side, these are on some pretty interesting hinges. Um, I'm not going to take them off, but when you make it, you'll understand. Just to give it that kind of angled, sloping um, curvature to the wings on both the front and rear. So next feature on both sides, we have these escape pods, which we can see here. So these just simply pull off like that. So there you can see where that's held into place. It's on top of these and there is a um, clip down there, which obviously fits into on here. 
Okay, so first thing, this is a sticker um, over the top. Um, some detail in there for the end of the escape pod. And a little bit, obviously, at that end too. So this just simply lifts off, like so. So nothing in the top section. So in the, obviously, the bottom section there, there is an area to sit or seat the minifigure there. Um, and then there is the control panel. So this is a printed tile. So that is not a sticker. That is actually a print. Okay, so we put our minifigure in there. Obviously, skate pod on. And then, obviously, that can be jettisoned and... Obviously, land on a planet safely somewhere. Um, to put it back in, just put it on t top of these um, and just slide back into place and it will clip like so. And just quickly round to the other side. Obviously, it is identical, but just show you put it off again. Sticker that's one single sticker that goes around the outside, detailing, and exactly the same inside. And again, with that printed tile, so again, place it back on and push it in. To position like so okay back round to the front now so on both sides here um, quite well hidden but these two panels here do lift up and they do um, are there for a reason so if we lift that side up and that side up so first thing you can see here on this one there is one of these spring-loaded missiles so that is just a storage area for a spare one and that just simply slides in there obviously through that piece so there's the spring loaded missile just pop it in there and it's just a storage area for it um, so what we can also do is certainly what I did um, so this weapon here um, I just simply place in to position down there put it at an angle and that still closes up very nicely so that's one weapon stored over here um, and this is designed for these two weapons because it shows it actually within the instruction manual. So first of all, our lightsaber. Um, so that can simply push through that brick there. So that stores there. Then the uh, blaster. Okay, and this just simply into this little Technic pin here, push it into it, down to the side like so. So you should be able to see those two weapons now in position there and stored there. Um, and then again, just close that piece up. So we have um, all the weapons now stored on board. Okay, so you may be thinking that's it for the features. Well, it certainly isn't. So we do have more. So first up, we have this piece here and you can see it's held in place by this rubber technic piece here so that it doesn't um, move e easily and kind of come out of position so I'm just going to try and hold this now while I show you this at the same time but basically what I'm going to show you is here you may be able to see there there's a hinge that is again another hatch there so if I pull that out there you saw that nicely there that falls down we can see there, that's a sticker there on a yellow tile. Um, and there is a crate in here, so you can either fix it into position like it is there, so it doesn't actually fall out, because obviously it's just a plate. Or if you just put it in there loosely, and close that up, and push that back in. That's now locked in position. Um, so now, um, if I pull this back you will see that crate should drop out and it did so there's that crate so again let's just push that back in and I'll show you the crate so there's the crate and as you can probably hear there is something in it take the lid off and it's holycron it's the holycron or a holycron um, as you can see there okay so again pop that back in there and obviously that can go back and be stored underneath the ghost. Okay, just where we're in this position, you can see there is some more detail in here. So that is a sticker. And I believe there is one on the other side. Let's just take that round. Yeah, sticker. So everything you can see on top and around is so a sticker, sticker. And let me go back to the rear 
that is a sticker in there. I think that's all of them because I've shown you the others already. So, right, just bear with me, I'm trying to lift the underside up. So underneath, you may have picked up on them already, but here are the spring-loaded missiles. You can see they're one on each side. So you're probably all familiar now with these, but i try and take this round to this side. To fire these, it is simply a case of lightly pushed down. It's held in by a clip, so I'm going to fire this now. And they do come out very, very fast. That's rebounded off my wall and gone about six feet behind me. Um, so let's just do the other one and angle that one a little bit so you can see that one shoot out so ready fire okay so that one obviously shot out very fast as well so that's the spring loaded missiles okay so on to what I think is the final feature I'm just want to remember if I've missed anything but anyway so spin around um, and like I said before this area here is for something to um, fit in there and that is doo -doo 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 -doo, the phantom so this is the phantom i will put a link down in the description to this video to the review to this particular set um, however just while i've got this in my hands i apologize but there was one area um, that i forgot so when i was reviewing this i gave it what i thought was a thorough review but missed that one of the uh, Probably one of the main features and that is that this separates itself itself so this almost becomes its own little escape pod and you just simply pull it apart like so and you can see there um, how that is joined together so you now have this piece which can be an escape pod from I guess what is the main um, engine um, and storage area in here for the little um, um, droid that's in there okay so anyway back onto this storing in here so i think this is pretty awesome so all we simply do with this is put it into position like so just let it drop down oh no <laughs> obviously forgot one of the main things there um, what i pointed out before was this piece so this is where this comes into um, use this lifts up like so we then take the phantom and place in position like so okay and then just push that down that holds it in position there at the rear and um, there was a little stud in there so it's also held in position there um, but now we get to see the phantom docked onto the rear of the ghost um, again we can see in there Ezra um, sat there inside the phantom like I said click on the link below if you haven't seen the review to this set and these minifigures uh, but I think that does look Oh, there's one of the uh, spring loaders just fired off. Um, but that, I believe, does look pretty cool. Okay, so like I said, I do think this looks really cool now with the Phantom on the rear of the Ghost obviously docked in position. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, there we go. That is my review of this set completed. Set 75053, The Ghost from Lego Star Wars. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have done so, please show me you have done so by giving me that big thumbs up. Um, I really do appreciate the thumbs up because like I said, it does show me that you are enjoying the reviews that I'm doing for you. Um, any comments, questions, feedback, as always, leave down in that comment section. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!